you have a CR10, CR10 Mini, or even an Ender 3, and you're getting sketchy prints like intermittent flow, I'll show you how to fix it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters, and they get special access to ChepClub.com. So join us. So this is one of my print farm printers. It's a CR10 Mini. It's been printing six months, printing nonstop, 24-7. It's been very, very reliable. But then I started getting these very sketchy prints. It was missing. It was like not flowing properly. So I ran a calibration cat, which is really just their sample print, and I was getting all kinds of under extrusion lines across it. So I knew something was wrong because I had printed that before and this one came out good this was the original this one lots of problems the most logical thing is to replace the nozzle right you probably got a clogged nozzle and that's what i did i buy my nozzles in big packs this is the 20 pack i'll put a link in the description below to amazon where i get them they work really well and so i replaced the nozzle cleaned out the filament that seemed to help it ran good for about maybe half the print and then the problem came back I was running the original PTFE tube inside this and it was running good, but I noticed when I took it out, the end of it was all burned and there's filament stuck inside of it. So what I decided to do is just cut it off. And you just can't cut it with anything. If you try to use just these side cutters like you cut your filament with, you'll actually crush the tubing. So what you want is a good tubing cutter like this one from Capricorn. You just put it on there and it snaps off nice and clean. So I did that to get rid of this little clogged piece, put it back in, and started printing again. And everything went good for about the first half of print. And then the problem showed up again. I decided to just put some better tubing on it. I thought, well, maybe it's sticking inside of here. I was finding pieces of filament at the extruder gear. And so I could tell something wasn't flowing properly. So I put some actual Capricorn tubing, high temperature, and it also has tighter tolerances. I've had very good luck with this, but I wait until I have problems with the original before I go and replace it. So I put new Capricorn tubing on it and cleaned everything out again and it started printing beautifully for about half a print. And I couldn't figure this out. I mean, I've replaced everything that I could think of that would cause a blockage. So I took it apart again, and when I pulled out the PTFE tube, I noticed this big blob at the end. Normally when I pull it out, it's smooth. I don't get that clump. So because of that clump, I knew something was wrong. And that's when I found the real problem. So this is the hot end for any of the CR10s, CR10 Mini, or even Ender 3. It's got a heater block, and then a heat sink, and then a coupling. The nozzle screws into the bottom of the heat block. And then PTFE tubing goes into the top coupling and pushes all the way down into the nozzle. So if I take this nozzle off, I should be able to push this all the way through with a little bit of help. And there, you can see the PTFE tube is coming out and that will actually butt up against the nozzle inside of here. And this coupling stops it from coming out. But if I press down on the coupling, I can now pull it. So this is a lock mechanism that releases it. So the idea is that you just put the nozzle in, push this all the way down, and then the two are butted together. What I found when I took it apart is the lock mechanism was broke. And the PTFE tubing could slide in and out of that coupling with ease. So what was happening is it was pushed against the nozzle, but as the filament pushed against the nozzle and tried to squeeze out, it would push the PTFE out. So I ended up with a gap between the nozzle and the PTFE tube. And that's where that clump came from. And what that did is heat up against the nozzle. It was PLA filament. It just expanded and eventually blocked the whole flow. I mean, some would push through because it was soft, but it limited the flow and that's what gave me the bad prints. So the whole problem was this coupling was broke. Now you can get new couplings cheap. I got like a pack of 10 for $10. Uh, it's what, a buck a piece? And it locks on nicely, you press down on the clip, and now you can move it. So it works really well, so I put a new one of these on the hot end, put everything together, and this thing has been printing beautifully ever since. In fact, it's printing better than it was because now I have the premium PTFE tube, I have a new locking clip. I don't know how long that thing was loose, but my extruder is clean now, I don't see any shavings, 
and the flow is just absolutely perfect. So even though I was getting what I thought were good prints, I went back and looked at some old prints and I found there were gaps in the prints. I just wasn't noticing because it wasn't that bad. Now the prints are coming out perfect. So that's it for this week. I hope I helped you out. I know getting this fixed was huge for me. And now I'm checking all the couplings on all my machines to make sure they're good. If you like this, maybe check out some of my other videos that are popping up over here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon, get you access to Chep Club. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.